<laughs> we are now starting off in Diamond City. So, if you didn't check out the last episode, go see it. Um, it's kind of the... There's a whole bunch of stuff, actually. Is something wrong? It's leading up to this point, though. Oh, someone's busy. That must be her sister. Let's talk to her. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. What? Who's the institute? Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, mister? They snatch <laughs> people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. <laughs> I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb this little girl's been more helpful than everybody else in the game so far. Anyway. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people. But then why did I come all the way here? Is involved, and no one's going to want to get the institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there Mom, please help me. Come on. Afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Oh, yes. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. All right. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. What? Detective yeah. Valentine, okay. Wow, thank you for actually being helpful. Holy. But yeah, last episode was kind of leading up to Diamond City and um, leading up to just trying to find his son. And we saw... Wow, this place is huge. I'm sorry, I'm getting really distracted. Yeah, we kind of saw the beginning of uh, our sanctuary, and I did some building and everything, so... Wow! This must be a little market, okay. Well... Let's go check out this Mr. Valentine. Perfect. So kawaii. Bada bum. Okay. Uh huh. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage is too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Oh, I thought you were the detective. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what- <laughs> I love this stupid hat that I'm wearing. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Ah, Skinny Malone, hey, see? I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. Well, hey, shit. I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. Ah. Uh. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Okay, well... 
Oh, this is going to be a mission, isn't it? It's going to be a big one. Um, I think before I go and do any of this, I'm going to kind of take a look around the city first. As well, I might go see if uh, Piper has anything to say. She kind of stormed off from her sister, so she's probably a little mad and kind of liked, uh, kind of like that new, you know, style of character. They bring you into this lovely city and uh, give you sort of a rebellious, everything is fake, don't believe it type person, and I, I appreciate that, so. You Diamond City Radio guy. I'm totally gonna go take take a look at him later. Him and his nervous nervous rantings over the radio. Road to freedom. Yeah. Okay. So we. Yeah. I'll just go do this Piper mission right now. This is along the lines of the story, so mine as well. We're here to run off and. Uh, Go try and find Mr. Valentine in the next video, maybe. Lovely. Oh, hello. Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. <laughs> Do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Okay. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Well, frozen, cold. And I were frozen. Not very productive. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Oh, yeah, yes. baby. 200 plus. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure yeah. Like it might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? You just keep swimming. You know? How much you want to give up? Don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Awesome. So we can have her as a follower. I am really tempted to take her as a follower. I love the dog so much though, but I might switch things up before I leave the city. I think that'd be really interesting. Do do do. Just taking a look around the city some more. I saw a bunch of people walking over here, so uh yeah, or running. What's with you vault dwellers in those well, jumps, huh? Oh, looks like the mayor's gonna give us a little speech. We'll sit down and hear what he has to say. Everybody, everybody. Are we a bunch of 
bullshit about the paper. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind, and that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years, and what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the world. He's kind of showing his perspective against Piper's. But hey, he's... I have to have his own opinion. Just trying to keep keep the city calm and collected. Okay, uh, I'm going back and showing this in the video. Because this is kind of showing Piper's perspective. I'm glad I had this recorded. We had just seen the mayor's perspective on her in the city. This is her perspective on where she's kind of coming from in her life. my experience, if you want to do real good... Playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh... One day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get... Oh yeah, there we go. So Look into Piper and... Should we head out? Alright, I hope you enjoyed the episode and that was... uh. You know, at the end there, I tried to put both those clips in to show the different perspectives between 
how both her and the mayor both care for the town, but they, of course, don't see eye to eye about how to go about it. So maybe on the mayor's side, there's some corruption or something, but we'll figure all that stuff out later. Uh, if you liked the video, subscribe, leave a like, and if you have any questions, you can always leave comments, and I'll definitely get back to you. So as always, thanks for watching, guys.